I'm Anil Kumar and here is question number two on the quiz trigonometry radian measurements. The diameter of a ferris wheel is 135 meters and the wheel takes about half an hour to complete one revolution. Determine the exact angle in radians that a passenger will travel in five minutes. Part B is how far does a passenger travel in five minutes? Part C how long would it take a passenger to travel two radians? Part D is, what is the angular velocity of a passenger in radians per second? You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now we are given here that the diameter of the Ferris wheel is 135 meter. So diameter is 135 meter. That means radius is 135 divided by 2 which is we can use our calculator 135 divided by 2 equals to in decimal 67.5 meters now we need to find exact angle in radians that a passenger will travel in five minutes now this ferris wheel takes about half an hour to complete one revolution right so in 30 minutes we need to find exact radian angle now in 30 minutes it goes through one revolution now one revolution is 2 pi radians correct you need to find how many radians in 5 minutes well in one minute it should be how much it should be 2 pi divided by 30 minutes correct Therefore, in 5 minutes, it should be 5 times this, correct? So, in 5 minutes, we will get 2 pi divided by 30 minutes times 5 minutes. When you simplify, minutes, minutes gets cancelled. So, 5 times 2 is 10. So, we get pi by 3 radians, right? So, the answer for the first one is pi by 3 radians. Now the next part is, how far does a passenger travel in 5 minutes? So basically what's happening here is that we have a ferris wheel. Let me sketch it uh, in a different thing, right? So we have a ferris wheel here. Now as we have seen in this case, in 5 minutes they travel, let us say, pi by 3, that much portion, right? So when you say, how far does a passenger travel in 5 minutes? That is that is the arc length which we need to find. We already know that the angle is pi by 3 and the radius is 67.5. This is 67.5 in meters, correct? So now you can find arc length A which is R times theta, correct? So this we can calculate as A equals to R times theta where theta is pi by 3. That is the theta value for us, correct? So let's find arc length, which is equals to radius of 67.5 times pi by 3, correct? So we can calculate this. We have already 67.5 as the radius times pi divide by 3. That gives us, let's find it in decimals, 70.685 which is 70.68 meters or 5 meters okay so that is the distance traveled by the passengers in 5 minutes part c is how long would it take to how long would it take a passenger to travel two radians now as you can see it takes two pi radians in 30 minutes right so this we can solve in a manner like this 2 pi is one circle 2 pi radians in 30 minutes so 2 radians in how much time so 2 radians in 30 divided by 2 pi times 2 correct that is how you get it right so so many minutes Correct. So, 
30 divided by pi, let's calculate this answer, 30 divided by pi, which is approximately 3.14, so we get 9.55 minutes, right? So we can convert this, answers are in minutes, right? We can always convert that to seconds. Let me multiply uh, this by 60. So you can multiply this by 60 and get seconds, which is uh, 572.9. Anyway, this is better. So it's nine point, around nine and a half minutes. So how long would it take a passenger to travel two radians? About nine and a half minutes. What is the angular velocity of a passenger in radians per second? Now that's the next part. Angular velocity, as you know, is radians per second we want. So angular velocity we need in radians per second. Now, what we know here is it takes 2 pi radians. Let me write here 2 pi radians in 30 minutes, correct? In 30 minutes. So basically, let's convert the units. So, you know, 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. Now, minute and minute cancel, we have radians per second, correct? So the answer is 2 pi divided by, let's multiply this, 6 times 3 is 1800. So we get 2 pi divided by 6 times 3 is 18, and then two zeros, radians per second, correct? So let's calculate this answer, 2 pi, so it is 2 times pi divided by 1800 that gives us 1 over 900 pi or let's convert to decimals which is 3.4906 into 10 to the power of minus 3 radians per second right so you could say pi by 900 radians per second or 3.4906 times 10 to the power of minus 3 radians per second well, with the help of this example, you have seen how we can actually find um, angle, velocity, angular velocity and related things. I hope that helps to review a major aspect of this chapter. Thank you and all the best.